very simple. We have to take time, take a deep breath, and uh, relax for a while. And stop talking, stop thinking, just close your eyes, go to sleep, and then maybe when you wake up, you feel better. Hi. <laughs> oh well, I am in front of, I'm standing in front of IFC uh, building uh, where uh, I can hear and I can see different kind of uh, activities of Filipino domestic helper here around. Uh, some of them are uh, just sitting in the corner and uh, some of them are uh, making some noise, like singing, right? Look at the camera, Jensi Clark. Why were you looking at me? Look at yourself. You know your face already. So, right, so in front of me, I saw someone there. I'll show you. Yeah. So, it's sad to think that um, most of the Filipino uh, domestic helper here in uh, domestic helper here in uh, Hong Kong don't have a proper uh, place to stay with every time they're doing their holidays, and uh, that's the fact that we need to to uh, to face and uh, accept that that. Uh, most of our, 90% uh, of our Filipino domestic helper here in Hong Kong don't have proper place to stay with and uh, spend their uh, all day holiday every time. So they just used to uh, bring some uh, spare uh, flat paper cartoons, what do you call that? Uh, flat cartoons, you can say it, flat cartoons or I don't know what to say, I don't know how to call that. A paper, a brown paper, <laughs> a brown paper. Yeah, they just um, using this um, white brown paper to, to sit down the whole day. They can sleep, they can sit down, they can sleep, and they can uh, do uh, any activities that they like. And uh, some of them are um, just prefer to uh, roam around um, doing some shopping, uh, window shopping. Some are uh, buying stuff and some are just doing uh, window shopping just to uh, ease the, the uh, what is that, the, the hot weather, the hot weather in Hong Kong because uh, this time it's summer. Alright, so on my right side, uh, you can see lots of uh, Filipino domestic helper also there. Spending time just sitting and um, chatting to someone until uh, until they uh, need to go home for uh, to go home for uh, um, what is this? Because it's their curfew. Uh, it's very hard if your employer will give you curfew. Right, so just let me walk for a while. So what else uh, we can uh, speak? What else we can talk to you? Um, yeah, what about domestic helpers? Yeah. So, uh, in my entire life in Hong Kong, I never experienced that um, spending my holiday in the corner, sitting on the corner like this. Yeah, I never, I never experienced that. I didn't do that. Until now, I don't do that because... Uh, um, 
I don't know, but some people used to it, and uh, they don't mind if um, they can uh, smell a different kind of uh, gas of the cars, the smoke, and some cigarettes. And uh, sometimes there's some some uh, dirty on the floor, saliva or something. So it's it's really. Uh, easy for them to stay there for the whole, the whole, uh, the whole, uh, the whole day. Uh, but me, um, I didn't like it because uh, I didn't like actually sweating. I can only, um, I don't mind sweating if I'm doing running or exercise. But uh, during my holiday, I didn't like, I didn't like to get sweating. More sweating, like a lot. I hate sweating. You know why? Because um, it's easy for me to get sick. Uh, yeah, if I um, my body's always uh, got lots of sweating. It's easy for me to get sick, like dry cough and runny nose and uh, everything. Yeah. So the reason for me, so my reason why I come here in Hong Kong to work because, uh, you know, in the Philippines, uh, it's really hot, summertime, El Nino time, and uh, lots of sweating. So one time I just uh, decided to, to apply here in abroad, and I used Hong Kong to... So I play Hong Kong and work here, and then um, of course I uh, I experience some um, winter, and I really like winter. So uh, every winter time, I really feel myself like oh I'm I'm in abroad, and uh, you know it's nice it's nice to be here. So. I didn't plan any, I mean, I didn't decide to plan uh, to go to other country than Hong Kong. And um, I prefer myself to just stay in Hong Kong to work for work because it's easy for us to go back home. Easily if there's an emergency in the Philippines. Um, yeah, as long as we have money to buy a ticket, air ticket, and we can get, we can get that um, OEC, then it's easy to go back home, just two hours and then you can touch Philippines. So that's the reason why I prefer to just stay here in Hong Kong to, for work than uh, transfer to other country. Right, so what else? I'm just thinking what to talk to you. So this IFC building is uh, it's a kind of place that uh, people always like to uh, to come, to visit, uh, roam around inside, shopping, visit shopping center, um, meet friends, um, hang out, and what else? Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, guys, I'm just making a vlog like this, but I didn't plan at all. I just want to make it uh, very simple or uh, normal. Normal as Gen Z vlog. No planning at all, no any plan at all to make vlogs here. I just want to, to stand up here while waiting for someone. I'm waiting for uh, an old friend. Uh, she said she's coming now, so I'm here in front of you now to to feel myself that I have someone to talk with while I'm waiting here. So Hong Kong is a very nice place, and uh, this is a. Free
free country. You can do whatever you want. Of course, except those uh, um, stuff that you don't do because uh, don't put yourself into danger or into risk. Actually, before, in my uh, life before, like three years ago, I feel something like, I feel something like um, tired of working here in Hong Kong. And uh, there comes a time that I told myself, um, I'm tired of working here anymore, and uh, what shall I do? Do I need to go back home and just stay in my house and stay in my family or uh, uh, still stay here and work I don't I don't really know what to do but then um, the next morning the next day everything's fine so every time we are um, encounter different kind of um, as a person in their life. Uh, sometimes we're really puzzled. We don't know what to do. Uh, we want to make any uh, decision to ourselves. It's like, because it's hard for us and uh, I, feel, I feel too bad that very moment. But uh, we don't know that sometimes the things might be, might be fine. And, um, we didn't do such things or a decision that um, we're not really sure about it. So we need to we need to remember every time that when we are in our bad times, uh, maybe we just uh, we just take a um, a few minutes to, to think about what we really need to do. Um, we cannot just decide quickly as we want. Very simple. We have to take time, take a deep breath, and uh, relax for a while. And stop talking, stop thinking, just close your eyes, go to sleep, and then maybe when you wake up, you feel better. So in my 20 years here in Hong Kong, all I can say is that different kind of um, a bad times I encountered and. Uh, of course, I can tell that uh, myself is really uh, strong enough, brave enough, because uh, I'm only, I, I'm alone here. I don't have any relatives here in Hong Kong to meet with, to work with until now, so for almost 20 years now. So all I can say is that Jensi uh, Clark is really brave because of uh, that um, different kind of um, hustle bustle in my life that I bump it. So sometimes we can tell ourselves that um, what, what, what am I doing here? What am I doing here and abroad? I have my family, I have my own house and I can do whatever I want in the Philippines. Why should I need to stay here to go work and uh, take care of this this family which is not my own blood remember yeah so most of us here um single mom there's a uh, they have their own family in the Philippines but they prefer to stay in Hong Kong and abroad to work uh, for the future of their families so always like that and it's sad to think it's, it's sad it's sad it is this is really sad to think that why we need to do this? Why we need we don't need to stay in our country and work there? Why? Why? What's happening in our country? What's happening? What's happening in the Philippines? So I don't want to, to answer that because I know everyone knows it. I, everyone knows what's the reason why uh, people degree or without degrees coming here in Hong Kong and abroad leave their family in the Philippines just to work here and uh, reach their goal. So most of this is uh, like, we can speak it another time, okay? 
so I'm just spending time here to talk to you guys just to uh, to speak um, any <laughs> I'm just taking my time here so yeah this is for the day and I hope I talk a lot I already talk a lot about things so I have to look back now and uh, find the person that uh, I'm waiting for a long time here I don't know where she a long time friend of mine that uh, I have time now to today I have time to, to meet some friends All right so thank you for watching and listening to this uh, story and drama that I have it's Sunday and uh, it's almost six o'clock thank you so much everyone see you again next time